Hello, Sens and hockey fans. I'm your host, Jordan Mady, and this is SFT via Ottawa. The goals came fast, and the goals came often in this game. Milan McCulloch was absolutely everywhere at the beginning. He gets the game's first goal. The Sens and Oilers are deadlocked at one after 20 minutes. If you thought the first period was nuts, the second period was nutty. Five goals in the second. One of the Nets gets a hat-trick as its post gets hit three times. The Sens lead 5-2 after two periods. When it's all said and done, the Sens convert their touchdown. They win 7-2 over the Oilers. Before the game, Bobby Kenzie told TSN 1200 that trade talks involving Chris Neal had cooled down. Well, they could be frozen for up to a month as the Senators announced during the game that Neal had fractured his thumb and that he will be out indefinitely. McKenzie also later reported that the Senators were leaning towards not trading the 35-year-old even before the setback, despite interest from a list of teams. There's no rumor or official reporting on this, but is Milan McCulloch a trade target? Two goals and one assist Saturday night. He has been great lately. His seasonal value is at his peak, and moving his contract would be great for the Senators financially. The downside? his knee. The procedure he had done on it in 2013 isn't time-proof in that its effect isn't guaranteed to last forever, especially under stress of high-level hockey. Again, my intent is not to start a rumor, but to propose a viable trade scenario that will no doubt be one of many as we approach the March 2nd trade deadline. That's it for this SFT. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the corresponding button. If you really liked it, that subscribe button could use some love. My name is Jordan Mady for Hooked on Hockey Magazine. Stay right, Sense fans.